What's happening, responsible day traders? Today is Monday, July 27th, 2020. I'm Lindsay Duff and this is Responsible Day Trading. It's 10.30 in the morning. I was really done in about the first 25 minutes, but my stomach was growling. My first exit I took is a loss and it was because I was afraid it was going to stop me out instead of just being patient and letting it pull back its two ticks. I'd have stayed in that one. I did exit my next trade a little early. I had very weak signals to exit and I did. You want to see what I've done? Let's go ahead and check it out. Wapow. <laughs> not my not my most favorite, but you know, it is what it is. Now, did it give me other trade opportunities throughout that? It did. I just didn't trust the area and I can see now how it's pulling back big times. I did pull a card today. Without a vision for your future, you will return to your past. And let me just tell you, I used to take those trades all the time and just get stopped out and stopped out and trying to force that market to go through the area. And especially after having these classes the last couple of weekends with Jason going over trading like a professional and really keeping your mind around looking for those bigger areas where the market could pull back to. It really kept me from taking any of the long trades after that. I talk about it like it's calling my name, it's calling my name, but it's telling me that there's a real mixed bag and which that tells me it has a better opportunity to push in the opposite direction. So I wasn't gonna allow myself to get caught up in that or anything. Today's probably gonna be a pretty quick video. I'll leave in some of the commentary about what I was saying in the way of holding off and struggling with the idea of taking some of the opportunities that I did see. So right now at you profit trader, we're actually running a 30% discount. Also with that 30% discount, we have something going on right now that we've started recently. It's called the 75 freedom account. The 75 freedom account will calculate your drawdown at the end of the day with your closed trades. So it's a little bit different than what you see any place else or with any other account. It is very unique to what we're doing here at You Profit Trader. If you've got questions over it, let me know, or you can send in an email to support at youprofittrader.com and those guys will be a quick on the draw at getting back with you. Um, all right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. I'm looking and more and more glad that I didn't take any of those longs. I had lots of signs that the struggle to the upside was there. I don't know that I'll be around a whole lot this week. Pins come out on Wednesday. Have a few other plans too that day. And we have FOMC on Wednesday. So let's keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all watch the video. If you got questions, definitely let me know. Otherwise, guys, have a magnificent Monday. Let's kick this day off. Let's look at the daily wet daily chart. I want to be quick about it. We're pulling back right into that bottom. Ugh, that's why I wanted to be quick because it's already taken off. We were pulling back into that bottom Bollinger Band. Um, it does look like it's giving us the space to pop back up, which is happening right now. I actually really wanted to be in that, but I took a second to look away. Pulling back in just a little bit. Look, oh, I'm gonna hit close. It looks like we're doing that. Yeah. I'm just going to go two ticks right behind this little spot. There we go. I'll go ahead and move up to that break even. I'm going to pull right there. Okay. <clears throat> 
got the white BBs here. We've got white BBs here. We've got lower pivot here. It doesn't say it won't continue up, but it gives us a good opportunity for a deeper pullback. Y'all, from here on out, there's going to be a lot of commentary that talks to you about how I'm perceiving these next opportunities that I choose not to trade. I just wanted to give you a little bit more insight into why I don't take trades as much as why I do. Ooh, it looks like it's trying to give the push up right here. But I, I don't, I don't want to fight this. I know it could, has a good chance. It's been a very weak pullback so far, and we're sit we're just sitting at that top Bollinger band. So I'm I'm gonna give this a minute to work itself out. We had a big, 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 big move. There's a lot of space to pull back. The push up right here. But I I don't I don't want to fight this. I know it could, has a good chance. It's been a very weak pullback so far, and we're sit we're just sitting at that top Bollinger band. So I'm. I'm going to give this a minute to work itself out. We had a big, 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 big move. There's a lot of space to pull back. The way that this is pulled up and pulled up and pulled up and the BBs are still outside. We are reaching that top Bollinger Bands. It tells me it has more of a probability to push down deeper. Here's the 233 trying to tell you more up. 610 is slowing and rolling at its zero line here too. What it is, is what I like to say is what is my room to run? And right now, this is my area 27. I guess I have a little bit of space to run up there um, as we didn't have a very strong move down, but this feels like a snapback <laughs> snap trap. That's, a, that's the best way I can put it. It is the snapback trap. I'm gonna make a song out of that. Snap back trap. Snap back trap. I'm not gonna make a song out of that. It had reasons to go here, but I just felt like it's a trap. Maybe I need to change my vibration, my, my thought process that the traps aren't there for me. Mm, I was thinking about the trap instead of thinking about the possibility. What was my card today? Without a vision for your future, you will always return to your past. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Love these cards. It's funny because I start thinking about forcing things and I have to remember every time I force it. Like, even my exit earlier was just silly. Uh, I wanted to not take the full loss. I was thinking about not taking the full loss and that's why... I exited. Now, had I left it there, I would not have been taken out of the trade. But that is really what was going through my mind is I don't want to take a full loss here. Thinking about the points. I'm thinking about the points and like, is it enough to be done for the day? And that's not the right thought process. I'm, it's, I'm, I'm having a struggle at this area. I see the reasons for the long, but I'm struggling to to take them. Okay, maybe I need to change the word struggling because it's not helping me make the right decisions. I am feeling more comfortable just watching it happen instead of being a participant in it. And that's okay. <laughs> I'm laughing because there's just a, I'm just happy not to be in the fight. Just to be sitting on the sidelines. Sitting on the sidelines. Sitting on the sidelines. Not playing with my mind. I'm a little in my head. Like, do I want to take this trade? Because I want to make sure, you know, I had a really good week last week. And I'd like to continue with that. But uh, I also have to just pay attention to what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling um, because it does make a difference for me. I'm struggling to stay in the moment. Now, does that have to do with a lot of noise right in here? Probably. 
there's another opportunity right here to take the long now you can see how getting in late would have really made this one stop me out even if we had chosen if i had chosen to get back in long at this point i think i'm done it's moving so slow there's a lot going on in my head let's go ahead and mark these up i'm gonna do it on the 610. um i don't know what the rest are hold on i haven't even looked at it <laughs> so let's find it oh i have a currency Four whole points. Well, it's $200 today for an hour and a half of my time. And I can feel some kind of way about it, or I can just kind of go on with my day. So I think I'm going to go with option number two. I'm just going to go on with my day. I'm not going to lie. I'm hungry this morning. And um, I'm really noticing like, so this is an area that I have had struggles with in the past where I would have fought the long and the short for a while instead of just sitting out. I told myself that I was going to give myself 15 more minutes and, or did I say 20 something like that? I don't know. Anyways, that time is up. So. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Some days are home runs, some days are base hits. Today was a base hit for me, and that's gonna be that. I'm having to really work on uh, the things that I say while I trade. Remember, a couple more days left of that 30% off lifetime for you profit traders, so come and check us out. Uh, I hope everybody has a magnificent Monday, and as always, guys, you know I look forward to catching you on the profitable side. I love y'all being here with me, so please like and subscribe so we can spend a little more time together.